I am so sick of you mouth breathers telling me, oh, Jake Paul has matured into such a wonderful human being. Well, I ain't fallen for it. And I've been waiting for the right moment to expose him. Lurking in the shadows. Hiding in the bushes. Just waiting for him to slip up. We got him. We got him, boys. And it all starts with a private jet. I want to go shopping. I need a bunch of new pairs of shoes. So they sent me the Puma jet. That's got to be one of the sickest jets to pick up a bunch of shoes. The disgusting display of wealth. While people are out there struggling to pay for their groceries, he's taking a private jet to go buy shoes. I'm going to have my team. Y'all can get whatever you want. Y'all can grab a pair of shoes. Right? So first of all, the title of this video is Jake Paul buys sneakers for everyone in the store. Everyone. Well, that's a lie. That's clickbait. He's just buying it for his team. There's other people in the store. There's other customers. How about the staff? How about the stock boy in the back? That's his first lie. Let's continue. Y'all can get whatever you want. Y'all can grab a pair of shoes. Okay. And Derek, Derek, get yourself a pair of shoes. As well. Oh, man, I, 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 I appreciate that. All right. So this, this is the man who will expose Jake Paul for the monster that he is. Now, as you can tell, just by looking at him, he's broke. That raggedy t-shirt. Someone please get him some Sewer King merch. And, and, and then let's study his face. You can tell by his toddler-sized jawline and the offensive silhouette of his nose that he comes from a long line of malnourished pores. It's a very sad situation, but not as sad as my Instagram following. Anyway, I want to back up a bit to Jake's offer. Okay, let's back that up. We need to pay a little more attention to that because it's key. It's key. Y'all can get whatever you want. Y'all can get whatever you want. That is key. He says you can get whatever you want and then told that broke guy, Derek, that he too is included in this offer. Okay, let's continue. I appreciate that. How many pairs of shoes you got? I got, uh, I actually just bought a new pair of running shoes. I have one pair of blue Air Forces and then these. So three. So, three. <laughs> so he's got three pairs of shoes. This poor boy only has three pairs of shoes. Now a real man would only have three pairs of shoes, right? One athletic pair, a pair of work boots, and a pair of dress shoes. Any more than that, and you're entering homosexual territory. Now you, you really need to pay attention to what happens next. Check this out. Watch this, watch this. Do you see how he is picking up shoes? He is using one of those trash picker uppers. Why? Why? This isn't a pair of shoes that's, oh, way up here, and he can't reach with his hands. It's, it's right in front of him. Why is he doing that? Why? Until you understand the mind of a multi-millionaire influencer, you won't know. But I've profiled these sickos. I know how they think. He doesn't want to touch this with his hands because it's been touched by pores, just browsing and touching everything. And he feels that poverty is contagious. He doesn't want your pore germs. So he has to use a trash picker upper. Now let's get to the absurd wealth of this fellow. Look at this. Did you catch that? Did you catch the price tag on that pair? Let's back it up. $2,000. $2,000. And that's not the only pair he's buying. Oh, 2000 bucks for a pair of shoes? No problem. But do you think that's the most expensive pair of shoes he picked out? Nope. Check this out. I think the 7-Elevens because Celsius Essentials is available in 7-Elevens. So oh yeah, this is easy. I have to get that's this. That's an easy $5,000 to get an ugly pair of 7-Eleven shoes. $5,000. Do you have $5,000 in your bank account? These are low-key hard. This colorway is wild. What is he even saying? Listen to that again. These are low-key hard. This colorway is a vibe. A, these are low-key hard. This colorway is a vibe. Jake Paul must be the richest NPC on planet Earth. He just, he just spits out Zoomer sound bites. He says a whole lot without saying anything. And notice again, he's using the trash picker upper even though it's right in front of him because he doesn't want to pick up your poor germs and catch that poverty virus. But I'm not done. I'm not done with what he said. Just listen to it again. Hey, these are low key hard. A, these are low key hard. This colorway is a vibe. This colorway is a vibe. God, I am so embarrassed to be part of this generation. I swear to God, sometimes I feel like I have more in common with Gen X or even those Gaylord millennials. Actually, Jake Paul is a millennial. I looked it up. And his birth year is the last year of millennials. And yet he 
talks and acts like a zoomer. And the thing is, this is just a pair of white and brown shoes. Are these low-key hard? Is this colorway a vibe? It's like it's a female. And it's a female shoe. And he's wearing girl shoes. Oh, I swear to God. But this is not his worst offense in today's video. It is what you're about to see that shows, that proves that Jake Paul is an enemy of the sewer. Did you hear what he said about the slime green shoes? Slime green, the official color of the sewer. He says, if you wear this color, you are low key serial killer vibes. Again, the, oh, the zoomer language. Listen to this. The green is like, the green is like low key like serial killer vibes. So again, he fit in low key and vibes into one sentence, but this time added two likes. He added two likes. And I can't even get one like on this video unless you help me out. Can we get this video to 10 likes? Can we do that? Listen to this again. This time I'm not gonna interrupt, just listen to this. The green is like low key like serial killer vibes. The green is like low key like serial killer vibes. Anyways, none of this has been the point of the video. Now we gotta get back to Derek to prove Jake Paul is not the humanitarian philanthropist you have made him out to be. Watch this. Okay, before I roll this clip, reminder, Jake Paul said he is buying shoes for his entire crew. He said, get whatever you want. And he specifically told Derek that he is included in this offer. Okay, let's go. This is Derek talking. Jake, I think I found. Oh, you, yeah, you want those ones? I'll take those out of your salary. I'll take them out of your salary. I'll have you know, I'll have you know, at this point in the video, Jake does not know how much these cost. He will find out in a moment. So he actually doesn't know how much they cost and he's saying, I'll take them out of your salary. Already reneging on his offer. Let's watch. I thought you said we'd give me a pair of shoes. Yeah, I thought you said give me a pair of shoes. Whatever you want, right? If you really want them, I'll buy them for you. But like, I just feel like you don't have what it takes to pull those off. You know? So now he, he's insulting him, saying you, you're too trashy looking to pull these off. If you really want them, I'll buy them. But you look like garbage. So pick something else. Maybe pick a big old garbage bag and step into that and hop around like you're in a potato sack race. So I don't want to hear any more of Jake Paul being, oh, he's so mature and wonderful. I look up to him, he's my role model. He told this poor bastard who can't even afford a proper mustache that he could get whatever he wants. He picks out a pair of shoes and Jake right away says, I'll take it out of your salary. And then the guy pushes back, you said you'd buy them for me. I mean, if you really want them, but you're ugly and stupid and you can't pull this off. So pick something else, loser. I just feel like you, don't have what it takes to pull those off. You know what I mean? What do you mean? You, you said I, you were like pointing to all the shoes saying I could rock any of them. I... See? See? You pointed to all the shoes. You said you can have whatever you want. I'm glad he's calling him out. I'm glad he's calling him out and not just going, oh, okay, sir, I, I go pick a pair of flip flops, sir. I'm so glad he pushed back so we could see what a liar Jake Paul is. Putting out this video representing himself as this generous man of the people. I bought shoes for everybody in the store. And then it becomes, no, just my crew. And then it becomes, uh, only certain pairs. Like, this is too expensive. <laughs> you know, I'm buying $5,000, $2,000 pairs of shoes for myself. But you go to hell. You won't look good in these anyway, because you're ugly. <laughs> and it turns out they're almost half a million dollars. But again, Jake did not know that when he said, I'll take it out of your salary. Listen. I should, Those are I should be touching it. Derek, <laughs> put it back, brother. <laughs> yeah. So now he knows. You know, that's fair. If he, if he grabbed the $425,000 pair, Jake would be like, whoa, I'll take that out of your salary. I get that. But again, he did not know the price when he shot him down, when he reneged on his offer. Jake Paul exposed. Let's move on. This is this next part is just sad. This next part is just sad. Watch this. This this next part makes me sad for 
for humanity and for our future generations. Look at this. You talk about me on your channel. You want me to talk about you on the, my channel? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm here with my boy, Adam. Um, he's gonna be a boxer when he's older. And they skipped school to be here today. To See, it's not anything that Jake did here, but what has happened? What has happened to society? That a mom, look at this mom, this mom took her kids out of school today. They skipped school so she could take them to meet their idol, Jake Paul. Parents, if your kids watch Jake Paul, you need to put a stop to that. You don't pull them out of school to go see him. And when I've, when I've criticized Jake, Mongo Mike, all these guys for pushing gambling apps in, in all of their videos because their audience is young, this is the audience. When Jake is pushing his company better, a gambling company, to his audience, this is who's watching. And don't tell me, oh, well, they can't sign up for that. They're too young. They're being groomed to be future gamblers. Oh, this gambling thing sounds cool. I've heard it, in, I've heard it being pushed in every single one of his videos. It's all over his clothes better. So when he's of age, you don't think he's going to try it? Don't tell me how wonderful these influences are when they know this is their audience and they're pushing gambling apps on them. Disgusting. All right, so anyways, uh, poor boy Derek finally picked out his shoes. Let's see what he got. This is what you're rolling with? Yeah, I think so, right? Yeah, it's right. good. Nah, that's it, bro. That's it. Just a pair of black Nike. Appreciate that. All right, appreciate you it. No, appreciate no, seriously, you. No, 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 seriously. Look how much this poor bastard is appreciating his pair of shoes after being humiliated on camera. He makes everything so awkward. Now this, this I find very confusing, this part. This part I find very confusing. So look here, he put his pair of shoes on the counter. He picked his pair, right? Shouldn't that be it? And he just walks away and they ring it up for Jake. What's going on here? Let's, let's keep watching. Why is he standing there? Hey, they don't, hey. Why is he, why is he taking cards out of his wallet? Why is he taking cards out of his wallet if Jake is paying for this? I'm very confused. You drop the, you drop the shoe at the counter and then you walk off and Jake will take care of it, right? What's going on here? Y'all don't got a subway credit? <laughs> Why is it? And now Jake snatched his subway gift card and he's making fun of him for it. Let's make fun of the poor guy. Okay. <laughs> Are you a subway rewards member? Oh, it's a gift card. Yeah. You'll take me to subway? Now this part, this part hurts me to watch. This part hurts my soul watching this. So Jake, after snatching his Subway gift card, says, are you going to take me to Subway? Watch this. <laughs> you won't spend your gift card on me? Uh, Look at this. Shoes upgrade from these. Subway. A little bit of an upgrade. Yeah, the Nike Subways. I actually... Look how much he has to think about it. Now, if you've never been really broke for a long period of time, you might not understand what's going on in that head of his right now. But his bank account is probably damn near zero. And this Subway gift card is probably how he's going to be eating. That's probably today's lunch. And the leftovers might be dinner. So even though Jake bought him a pair of shoes, he is thinking long and hard about, oh God, can I actually take Jake to Subway? And you might think, of course, take him. He just bought you shoes, you jerk. He can't eat the shoes. So unless, unless he sells the shoes and buys food with it, getting a pair of shoes does not solve his problem of needing to eat. Furthermore, we don't know how much is on that gift card. It might be 14 bucks left on that. And when you're broke, you're probably buying this, the six inch sub of the day, even if it's not your favorite, because it's all you can afford. But when Jake, a multi, multi millionaire, goes to Subway, like just imagine they both go to Subway with that guy's gift card. You think Jake is looking, oh, what's the special today? Or, oh, that, that one's kind of overpriced. Maybe I'll get this one. No, Jake is going to go, Footlong. I'll have the footlong steak and uh, double steak. And uh, uh, give, me a, give me a bottle of water too. 
And Jake's order will come out to like $37 if, you, if you've ever been to Subway recently. And now they want a tip too. So it might not even just be a matter of his entire Subway gift card being used up. He might not even have enough for Jake's order. And then he has to pay for the rest out of pocket. And he might not, not even have that. So this guy's calculating in his head right now. Oh, gee, how much did I have left on that gift card? Uh, this is going to go over. Uh, I can't order anything. That's going to be weird. He's, and Jake's going to be like, well, you're not getting anything. And, and I'm going to have to be like, uh, you know what? I'm not really hungry. I'm good right now. And then I'm just going to sit there and Jake's eating. And it's probably going to go 20 bucks over. And how am I going to afford that? Do I have enough on my debit card? Mm. So that's what's going on here, guys. And in the end, he does not say yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> he didn't say yes. He didn't say no. He just kind of like, uh, uh. All right, so they're they're ringing up all the shoes now. Let's see what the total becomes. Total, your grand total comes to actually right now fifteen thousand seven hundred. That's fifteen thousand seven hundred dollars. But listen to Jake's response to this. That's fire. That's fire. I'm telling you, he is the world's richest NPC. He just speaks in Zoomer sound bites. That's fire. Like he can't think other than spitting out Zoomer quotes. That's fire. Have you ever done that when you're presented with a bill? Do you ever go to the store, take the merchandise to the counter, cashier rings it up and you say, that's fire. It doesn't even make sense. Like I get it. When he was looking at shoes, that's fire. Fine, fine. Do your bill? Your total is fire? What does that even mean? He didn't say that's fine. I know some of you idiots are going to say, oh, he said that's fine. Listen again. 15,700. That's fire. I must. That's fire. Oh, 15,700. That's fire. 14,230 wouldn't be fire, but 15,700. That's fire. God, kill me now. Oh, I am so done with this planet. Now check this out. 15,700. That's fire. I'm gonna see if my mom can pay for it. No problem. I'm gonna see if my mom can pay for it. So let's count up the lies. Number one, the thumbnail says, buy sneakers for everyone in the store. Lie, just for his crew. Told them you can get whatever they want. Lie. Says he's paying for it. Lie. He's calling his mom. Listen. Let me know. It's all good. Hi. Hi, mom. How are you, sweetheart? I'm doing good. Remember how you used to always like buy me shoes uh, from Foot Locker? Yes. Do you think you could buy me some sh shoes just from like old time sake? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, let's see. Okay. 1500 Only $15,979. You could buy it for me? Yeah. All right. So she agreed to buying almost $16,000 worth of shoes. And she didn't put up an argument, nothing. Do you know why? Do you know why? It's because Jakey over here has dirt on her. That's why she's busting out the credit card. Hey mom, I'm gonna use your credit card. That's why Jakey over here is busting out mama's credit card. Cause he's got dirt on her and she better pay up or he's going to go public. And the dirt that he has on her, I exposed in my previous video. That's right. I have the exclusive on that story. We were the first and only, no one else even has the balls to touch that story. But we broke that story right here on the sewer news network. We got the exclusive. We're doing the hard hitting unbiased journalism that no one else has the intestinal fortitude to do, that no one else has the integrity to do. The Sewer News Network is your only source for the truth. And if you want to know the dirt that Jake Paul has on his mother that would make her willingly throw up almost $16,000 for a bunch of shoes, go ahead and watch my previous video. I show you with video proof using the most advanced 
video technology available to mankind that his mother is a sicko. You can watch that here, only here. Nobody else has got this story.